Not much rain today, so if you missed out on the rain today, well, you know, you weren't alone. I think there are better rain chances could arrive more so by Wednesday and Thursday and then maybe later in the week as well. But check out the first one five Doppler network. These are the areas estimated to have seen some rain today, especially earlier this afternoon around lunchtime, mostly in the lower valley. You see uh, eastern Cameron County where not too many people reside uh, over three and a half inches of rain right close to the coast and uh, close to the Royal City area got some rain even about a half inch down kind of uh, north side of the Bayview area and uh, about three quarters of an inch between Harlingen and San Benito. So there were a few spots that got some rain, but most areas not very much. And the first one five Doppler network mostly dry now, but if there is something able to pop up, it's going to be mostly over Hidalgo and Star counties the next hour or two before sunset. And there have been a couple of little showers you see popping up, but not really anything big able to hold together. And we were tracking one quick little shower formed right over Mission just for about 10 minutes, and then it kind of started to fall apart. And then the outflows like triggered another storm near La Homa. Uh, and on the north side of uh, Perezville. So it is a you know a little shower here and there possible. Maybe even a couple of flashes of lightning, one or two strokes of lightning south of Star County. This may cross the border in the southeastern Star County if it holds together here within the next 15 minutes. But little showers like that could be possible uh, before sunset. 101 still in McAllen, 104 in Rio Grande City. Most other areas have stayed in the 90s today. 98 right now in Wesleco and 95 in Brownsville. A little breeze coming in from the southeast, but not really windy anywhere. And I think the winds will be uh, as the same or maybe a little lighter tomorrow and Wednesday overall. Your evening planner, we go from about 90 something, depending on where you are. We'll say about 92 at 7 p.m. through the 80s in the evening and eventually the upper 70s late tonight. Maybe one or two showers or wheat thunderstorm between now and about 7 or 8 p.m., but most areas look dry. Then a good bit of rain farther to the north around Houston starting to fade away now, but uh, you can kind of tell there's a lot of tropical moisture sitting out there across Texas and across the western Gulf. So with that stuff still hanging around, rain chances will probably never go back to zero for the rest of the week ahead, but they kind of go up and down and probably more up by Wednesday. In the tropics too, that swirl of clouds right there coming off of Florida, that is Tropical Storm Gordon. So we do have a tropical storm in the Gulf. Expected to move its way to the west northwest. Could become a hurricane before reaching the Louisiana or Mississippi or Alabama coastline right there in the middle of the map by tomorrow evening. Winds right now are 50 miles per hour moving west northwest at 17 miles per hour. Notice the track takes it to maybe a category one hurricane somewhere near about the Mississippi Louisiana line by later tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. This is too far away to give us a direct impact, but as it moves to the north, it may also still push some moisture out ahead of it where there is a lot of tropical moisture in the Gulf and give us a better chance of a shower or storm by Wednesday. But uh, all the big rain, all the big wind not coming anywhere close to us. We could see the waves come up a little bit at the island by Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but not expecting any big, big time surf like you would see with a, you know, a huge storm in the Gulf. But that storm weakens, but could create some pretty good rain over the rest of the week across the central part of the United States. So. Uh, future track, just to give you an idea, it shows not much going on after sunset tonight. Tomorrow looks like a mainly partly sunny day, but the sea breeze could maybe trigger a couple showers or a wheat thunderstorm. You see not much is on the map tomorrow. Most areas will probably stay dry, about a 20% chance for rain, but that may increase more by Wednesday or Thursday. So the first one five seven day forecast, some places will probably still hit 100 tomorrow, especially if it stays dry. M many areas of Hidalgo and Star County could top 100 degrees, but after that, I think we'll pick up more clouds during the daytime, which will keep temperatures a bit cooler. Highs mainly in the 90s the rest of the week. Our chances of rain go up from about 20% tomorrow to about 50% or so by Wednesday, maybe 40% Thursday, and kind of hang in about the 30% range or so as we hit the weekend. So each day there could be showers or storms, just the higher chances might be right around Wednesday and then potentially Monday or early next week. But we'll keep tracking that for you again coming up on your first 1-5 forecast throughout the evening.